This lecture discusses some important angles that you will use over and over in trigonometry. Those are the 45 degree angles and the 30 and the 60 degree angles. But let's focus on the 45 degrees right now. To talk about this, we're going to draw a 45-45-90 triangle. This is a right triangle with two angles of 45 degrees besides the 90 degrees, and the two legs are each one unit long. And I want to find out what the length of the hypotenuse is if I have legs of length 1. I could have chosen any length, but 1 makes it a little bit easier. So if I have my Pythagorean theorem and I say 1 squared plus 1 squared is that hypotenuse length squared, we find the length of the hypotenuse to be square root of 2. It will come in handy if you can easily and quickly sketch the 45-45-90 triangle with its legs of length 1 and the hypotenuse of length square root of 2. Let's move from 45 degrees to 30 and 60 degrees. Well, to start talking about that, we're first going to start with a triangle. There's an equilateral triangle with three angles of 60 degrees each. This time we're going to have the sides of length 2. Well, the trouble is I can't use Pythagorean's theorem for this triangle. There is no right angle. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to bisect one of the 60 degree angles into two equal halves of 30 degrees each. This gives us two identical triangles, both with angles 30, 60, and 90 degrees. Let's just look at one of those. We know the hypotenuse, which used to be the side of the equilateral triangle, is length 2. When we cut that side in half, that made the first leg be length 1, and now we want to find the length of the second leg. So we'll still use Pythagorean's theorem now that we have a right angle. 1 squared plus something squared is 2 squared. And like before, we'll simplify this out so that the length of that second leg squared is 3, or taking the square root of both sides, the length of that leg is square root of 3 or approximately 1.732. And here we have our 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is another one that will be useful to memorize. Notice that the shortest leg, 1, is opposite the smallest angle, 30 degrees. 2 is the hypotenuse, and the other leg is square root of 3, or approximately equal to 1.732. Even though it looks like the 3 is bigger than the 2, because we have that square root sign, square root of 3 is smaller than 2, so the hypotenuse again is the longest side. But what if I had a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I was told that the length of the short side, the length opposite the 30 degrees, was length 5? Well, I know that my original triangle was length 1, square root of 3, and 2, but now I have a length 5. Well, if I remember from my similar triangles, that two similar triangles, that is triangles with the same angles, the ratio of the lengths of the sides is the same. So, if I had a length 1 before, and now it is length 5, I'm going to multiply all three sides by 5. So the hypotenuse used to be length 2, and now 2 times 5, it is now length 10. Similarly, the other leg was square root of 3, and it is now 5 square root of 3. So we've talked about the three angles, 45 degrees, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees, and the two triangles that you should memorize. The 45-45-90 triangle with legs length 1, 1, and hypotenuse length square root of 2, and the 30-60-90 degree triangle with legs length 1, square root of 3, and hypotenuse length 2. Please memorize this. You'll find the rest of the semester much easier if you have those two triangles memorized.